On connecting a brake trailer to the back of a towing vehicle, uh, there are a few things to make sure you do correctly. Um, first of all, get the trailer in place, get it above the tow ball. We've already done this. Uh, this is on a jockey wheel, which some most large trailers with brakes are, but some aren't. Uh, I'm using the jockey wheel with the coupling head open to lower it down onto the tow ball. This automatically locks and the ball is disappeared inside. There is a wear limit on the side of the coupling head and that shows uh, whether the coupling is worn. Once this is fully down, release the jockey wheel handle and lift the jockey wheel into place making sure that it's securely held. With this being a ribbed jockey wheel you can feel the lumps and get it so that it's not clamping on top of the ribs and clamping round the ribs. Once it's tight, just give it another quarter of a turn. While you're travelling, these can come undone and let your jockey wheel hit the floor. Once that's tight, make sure that the handle is tightened up. Uh, some uh, jockey wheels have eyes and R clips to hold them, some have spring clips. Uh, this particular one, as it's turned, it clicks because it's got an auto lock but it is still good practice to tighten it up tighter. Next is the breakaway cable. The breakaway cable must be guided. It must go through a hole on the frame so that when it pulls sideways it's transferred through the guide to the bottom of the handbrake making sure that it's pulling the handbrake straight. If a trailer doesn't have the guide it will um, it will lay underneath like this and if the trailer comes off and it pulls like that it won't uh, it won't pull the handbrake on correctly. It is good practice to inspect the breakaway cable. This breakaway cable's got slight damage to the outer red, uh, but if there is any damage to the metal wires uh, inside that's going to weaken it, it must be changed immediately. Once the breakaway is in and guided, uh, there's two ways of connecting it. Do not connect it to the tow ball itself. That, as if the tow ball fails, it's got nothing to pull on. You can go round the bar itself and tighten it onto itself like that, so that it chokes its chokes itself onto the main bar. Not many bars are like that. The, pro the best way of doing it, most tow bars nowadays have uh, a specific eye to connect them to. This is just a small loop on this tow bar here it's there and the carabiner just clips on like so. Make sure that the cable's not going to trail on the floor. If it is, the cable can run over the top and clip in that way as long as it's not going to restrict any turning etc on your trailer.
next thing is electrics this is on the modern 13 pin plug however some use the three pin plug uh, the seven pin plug um, the 13 pin is getting more and more common on larger trailers this particular vehicle has both sockets fitted um, the 13 pin plug unfortunately you can't see correctly but it goes in on an angle like so and the body twists and the cap goes on so it's gone in at this angle and it twists to vertical and locks in place the old traditional 7 pin plug has a slot at the bottom of the plug that always goes to the opposite side to the cap and just plugs in like that and the cap holds the plug in once this is all done it's good practice to try and make sure that you can't pull it off the tow ball however this trailer is far too heavy to do that and then you need to go through and check the lights on the trailer